that information coming from Serbian media and went viral. I, th- I think that the first report was that Dushka Ivanovic had five hour practice, right? Yeah, but then a lot of people were saying that it was only the practice was two an hour and a half. Dushka said it was six and a half, but of course Dushka that was, was a joke. Dushka was yeah, Dushka was clowning. I think <laughs> you know the the media and uh, five hour practice is sounds strange, even though it was probably all the time spent in the arena. Exactly, it wasn't it wasn't five hours of you know playing five on five on the court. That would be crazy. It draw a lot of reactions. Uh, <laughs> one of the funniest tweet was of course by the MVP of of Euroleague Twitter, Mike James, Mr. Natural, <laughs> and uh, we tweeted that Dushka Ivanovic effect training on Tuesday lasted from five to to ten. And he he just tweeted that I would have walked out at seven thirty. Seven thirty, yeah. But of course, there were people like Nick Stauskas, for example, saying that Dusko Ivanovic is the head coach who took all the joy from playing basketball, and he's the main and his ideology, which still has a lot of fans in Europe, is one of the main reasons why he's not playing in in, in this continent. So uh, I kind of get it. I mean, if that was something you know out of proportions. Uh, Mm, let's say Dusko Ivanovic really having uh, a long practice mm-hmm. from from what I've heard from what I've told that if practices are over three hours players can inform EuroLeague Players Association that's in the contract and they right, send right. a report to EuroLeague and the club gets warning if you know the next time the the club's uh, the club is is, is fined uh, so it it seems like the real on court practice took two and a half hours and you know I've well, the remaining part of this five-hour practice was like video reviews, warm-ups, recovery, probably because some running yeah. was mentioned there as well. Yeah, I, I just kind of practice. I mean, yeah, that's true. That's true. But I talked with some players, and they really said that their usual practice routine takes something around five hours. I mean, including the warm-up, including some extra shots or recovery, recovery and stuff, stuff like yeah. that. So this is nothing, you know, out of proportions. I just didn't like this this idea that it was romantized by some some players. Like, for example, uh, there was uh, Mirza Teletovic coming out and saying that, oh, uh, it, it's true mm. that there are some players who can't play with Dushko. There are the ones who don't want to become legendary, don't want to work on themselves and to be better today than yesterday. Those who aren't dedicated to basketball couldn't play with him. I don't think that nowadays we still need to have this military approach. Uh, for sure, no. Uh, you know, I don't like, you know, romantizing that type of coaches. And if the guy, you know, doesn't feel like he should be, you know, practicing for five hours, which is already a lot. And I mean, the time, the length, the duration of the practice doesn't say a lot about the efficiency of the practice. Uh, so I'm not supporting these uh, dictatorships, uh, you know, on the sidelines. And uh, that's why I didn't like, you know, that there were some guys mm-hmm. who were romantizing this whole idea because... Uh, sometimes it's just out of proportions. Okay, so my, my, my thoughts on this. He wants to see from the team who is willing to go to war, to war with him, who is willing to be tough. And he's also setting the tone for this team that we have to work if we want to win. Uh, I, you know, just watching uh, Zvezda with uh, Jovanovic, they were not that bought into the game. Mm. They were not as aggressive as Zvezda should be. Uh, I, I know they have some players that are not defensive-minded like they were last season, but they don't have that much star power to win games by playing offense. And see, seeing them not giving 100% defensively was weird. And I think that, you know, with these practices, with this approach to the players... You know, and why they made this change is because they want uh, someone who can bring, who can bring, you know, toughness to the team, and who can have the players accountable. Uh, because I just, I just didn't see that from from the mm. players before. 